Like she had this sparkly circus outfit on. So I guess she took it. She took the job very serious as the circus actually started flying through the sky like Ringling Brothers. I'm like, girl. Look, let's be clear. I ain't never took a loss. Every time I go shopping, I ain't got to check the cost. Still independent. Still my own boss. Still got bad bitches coming up their drawers. Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito. Lucci flame hot like a motherfucking Cheeto. This is not an act. I am not Don Cheeto. Slut a nigga out. Treat him like a free coat. Yeah, you heard right. I'm a whole ass gangster. Made him eat my butt. I ain't even say What's up, Lucci gang? It's your girl, Lucci V. And welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and as you can tell from the title i'm about to be recapping baddies caribbean episode two okay so if you would like to see how i felt about this episode who's my favorite who's my least favorite all of that all of that all of that all of that then stay tuned to this video right here but first make sure you like comment subscribe hit the notification bell ding 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 now Elizabeth. before i get into the recap i'm here to give you guys the deets on my latest favorite wig from love me hair it is pouring down rain today in chicago so i had to put a hat on but don't worry do not worry i showed you guys when i first took it out of the box J just just get into the details right here okay because this wig is eating it up no shade okay baby let's get into this wig here from love me hair as y'all can see i love love me hair okay so today I'm excited because I'm trying something different. This here is a Yaki straight glueless frontal. Yes, Yaki straight. You guys have never heard me choose a Yaki straight wig, but I am very excited to try one today. If you do not know, the Yaki straight texture is, let me try to come up closer to see. It's more like a natural like as if you went and just blow dried your hair and pressed it kind of thing like not the super suki brazilian kind of style okay so this is it's already in the side part which is good because y'all know i can't part so yeah uh -huh. but get into that lace look how it just disappeared i ain't put no makeup or nothing on that i ain't put no makeup or nothing on that pre-cut pre-plucks pre-bleached pre everything now let's put it on my head and see what it's really what it's really giving how is jackie straight gonna look on me luchi v let's see okay this is me just popping it right on my head straight out the box no makeup or anything on the lace at all this is what it's giving yeah yeah like i just blow dry my real hair yeah and what about it Okay, so to secure the sides here, they said that I could just use some mousse, but I'm going to just use some little double-sided wig tape to just only put on the ear tabs. But as you can see, the rest is already, <laughs> it's already melted in there. Okay, so I have put the tape, the lace tape on the ear tabs. And of course, this, I put nothing up here, but I just put an edge band on before I flat iron it because I don't know how hard I'm going to be tugging and pulling and, you know, yeah, so... This is the texture that it is right now. This is Yaki Straight. As you can see, it just has a few little like dents in it from being in the package. So let's run a flat iron over her, okay? Look at this though. No concealer on the parts. No makeup on the... Love me hair. Did y'all have to give it to us like this? Did y'all have to pre-breach, pre-pluck, pre-cut all that for us? Yes, y'all did. And that's why I love y'all, okay? Period. Okay, so I flat iron one side and you can see a big difference. Like, look how thick that is and then look how silky that is. Ooh, this yakky straight might be my new little texture. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna be so for real. I was not expecting to fall in love with this wig, you guys. I told you, I never choose yakky straight when I'm ordering a wig, but... I absolutely love this. Oh my gosh. Look at that part. Look at that lace. Like I literally did not add any concealer, any foundation, anything. Like this is straight out the pack. And it is really for real glueless. As you can see, like, do y'all see this? Like, let me comb it so y'all can really see what I'm talking about. Like, y'all saw that glueless. 
You see this? Look at this melt. Look at that melt with no glue. Just straight out the pack. Like, are you serious? If you guys would like to get this wig, the link will be down in my description as well as the discount code. Baby, go ahead and shop Love Me Hair for this yakky straight glueless front. Suit. Okay, now that we got the hair details out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the tea with these baddies. Okay, baby. First things first. First and foremost, this intro, this intro, it's too long. Okay, no shade. It's too many people. Like, we gonna have to... Like, they should chop the intro down to whoever appearing on this episode today. That's who was a part of the intro. Because it's no way that intro should be 37 minutes like that. It's no way. It's absolutely no way, baby. Like, ugh, we need to chop and screw that. Call T-Pain. You officially been chopped and screwed. It, it, it got to be chopped and screwed, baby. Okay, that's too long for me to be sitting through. Like, I be having to hit the fast forward like 38 times. Like, it's no way the intro should be that long. Like, okay, so this episode started off, of course, where the last episode left off, which we know was Bianca, like, sneak attacking Sapphire. She said this is because of what went on last season with Sapphire and Suki and Mariah. She didn't like how they was, like, double teaming on. She didn't like how Sapphire snuck her and, like, you know, tried to pull in the water, all that. Okay, so Bianca ran up on Sapphire I just feel like if you're going to do a sneak attack, you're going to sneak a run up. You got to really <laughs> do your big one. And Bianca did not do her biggest one at all. She ain't even do a medium one. She ain't even do a small one. She didn't do any type of one at all. Like you attack Sapphire and then was just holding on and grabbing like she was doing everything but swinging, uppercutting, bobbing and weaving. Okay. She was doing everything but that. Like. Girl, you you just did this sneak attack for what? Like, you I feel like she did the same thing, Mariah. I mean, Sapphire did last season. You you really didn't do much. It's like when Sapphire tried to redeem herself and do that stuff at the water with Mariah, it was like, okay, you tried to pull her in the water, but you went up in there too, and you still didn't really do your big one. Like, I feel like Bianca gave that same energy. You tried to do the sneak attack and you still didn't do your big one to defend Mariah. Like, that's cringy. That's embarrassing, okay? Um, it did look like Sapphire caught Bianca a few times on top of the head to a quick little bing, 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 quick little, little three piece, spicy, not mal, extra sauce on it. Okay. So then we get Callie coming in and she was trying to go sit by Natalie and Natalie hopped up like, hold on. Nah, don't come by me. What you doing? Woo -woo. Like, I really honestly don't feel like Callie's intentions walking over to Natalie was like to throw a fade with her you know what i'm saying i really feel like she was just trying to go sit over there but callie had already got online prior to the film and starting and saying like yeah natalie thinks she the hbic i'm coming for her spot all of a sudden like you can't be popping it online and then try to come sit by somebody regular like yeah i'm gonna go sit on my spot over there blah, blah. like girl it's already the energy is already up because of what you put online so i honestly like i said i don't think she was walking over there with them intentions but it's like you already kind of laid the ground for what type of energy you want with Natalie. So she automatically is like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait, you feel me? Like, hold on. Especially like Natalie has been filming baddies for a lot of seasons now. So she knows how this could go. Y'all pop it online and then see in person and it's, it's up and it's stuck. Like, so yeah, but, um, yeah, security was trying to pull Callie away. And I guess, I guess she accidentally bumped into Mariah and didn't say excuse me. So Mariah took off on her. Then Bianca hopped in and took off on her. Like, I hope this is not going to be a thing all season with Mariah and Bianca double teaming people. Like, Mariah can handle her own. You know what I'm saying? Whether she's the best squabbler in the world or not, Mariah will get out there with you. So it's like, Bianca do not have to hop in every little thing that Mariah has going on, baby. Like, calm down, Bianca. For real, sister. Like, calm down. Like, it's it's giving she looking for a moment or something. Like, I don't know. Like, she's doing a lot. Like, you just got brought into this. Like, the show has been on how because like I'm doing it a little different today. I'm actually playing it and watching it as I'm filming it. Okay. This is three minutes into this episode, and Bianca has done the absolute and utter most. Like, girl. I, I I'm just I don't know. I'm just I, I understand having your friend back. 
but it's like certain stuff is just like really just unnecessary okay so um i really feel like Mariah just doesn't want to look soft or like she's getting ran over this season or something. But I don't even feel like that was a good enough reason to be swinging on Cali. I would be like, girl, uh, you you need to say excuse me, sister. You know what I mean? You say excuse me if you bump into people around here. That's we don't play that. You know, check her. But I didn't feel like they had to start swinging on the girl. But okay, whatever. So Natalie is trying to get to Cali. Natalie wants to run a fade with Natalie and. I don't know if she, like, turned into Superman, but she tried to, like, fly in the sky and get towards Callie, but then she ended up on the ground like, Natalie, girl. Like, she had this sparkly circus outfit on, so I guess she took it. She took the job very serious as the circus actually started flying through the sky like Ringling Brothers. I'm like, girl, like, what you doing, sis? Like, <laughs> she ended up on the ground, like, the way she kept falling as she was trying to get to Callie, like on this couch, like it was like she just kept falling. I'm like, this looks crazy. This looks crazy. It looked like Natalie was like swimming and drowning. And <laughs> it was like, and she wasn't even like, I watched it in slow mo, and it's like she was missing every time she was swinging on Callie. But Callie did bop upside her head like three, four times, bink, 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 like real quick, four piece. You know what I mean? It might have been mal, not spicy, because they didn't really have too much impact. I'm, I'm going to say she gave her a four-piece mal. It wasn't real spicy or nothing like that, okay? So, Jayla was looking like um, she wanted to get out there with Callie. So, Callie squared up her, like, what's up with you too? Like, what up? Now, I don't know if Jayla was really on that. I mean, if she was, then why you ain't still off on her? But I don't, I don't know if she was really on that. Natalie decides she's leaving. Natalie decides, oh, Y'all disrespecting me. I'm a millionaire. Y'all do, y'all, y'all know what she does when she gets the dramatics. I don't know. It's, it seemed like she ain't really want to run it with Callie like that for real in real life. I mean, I don't, that's just what it seemed like to me. It seemed like she didn't really want to run it with Callie for real. She's like, y'all let my girls handle you and all that. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I feel like she ain't really want to run it with Callie. Like, because Callie's not a small girl. Like she looked like she's she got some height on her and some weight on her, so yeah. You know I mean, I don't know if she really wanted to run it. It was a funny little moment though that I peeped. It was like the security was holding Kelly back and she was like, Hold on to Siki right there. And Tasiki was like, What? What happened? Oh no, I don't do no sneaking. She was like, Oh, okay. I know you got respect. She said, No, it's not about respect. I'ma just tell you to square up. Like, okay, like, yeah. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to see Tasiki get her. I ain't gonna lie. I, I kind of wanted to see that. Okay, so um, Cali starts saying like, "I'll run it with anybody. Anybody who got a problem, I'll run it." Da, da, da. Like, I guess she started feeling like everyone was against her. But this is the part that threw me off. She just started spitting, and she spit on Mariah, and like it was just like it was really disgusting. Like the way she just had so much spit already waiting in her mouth to just it, it was like flying out like like a sprinkler like it wasn't even just like a little it was just like flying out like <sighs> that's the part that's too far for me like the spitting like i don't that's not i don't know like i'm scared for what i would do if someone spit at or on me like i do not know what i would physically do mentally turn into like i'm really scared for someone to ever in their life attempt or to actually spit on or at me like the way the like i, I ain't even gonna get i i just i can't believe that this is happening so much on this second episode because this is not the last time some spit is going to happen and this is the thing that threw me off like mariah was talking about like how barbaric and how disgusting Callie was for her to be spitting only for her bestie, Bianca, to square with Sapphire and do the same thing and spit on Sapphire. Like, why is it that serious? Like, literally nothing that has happened on these first two episodes is that serious to where you need to be spitting on somebody. Like, no one is talking about somebody dead, relatives or something. Nobody talking about, that, like, no one's talking about your kids. Not, like, it's nothing being that, like, what? Y'all spitting? 
See, I would I would be in the jail somewhere. I would be in the jail somewhere. If somebody Sapphire me. and Bianca squared up, and Bianca starts taking off her shoes one by one, throwing them at Sapphire. Now, number one, number one. I'm guessing she did this just because of like she knew she was gonna walk in and take off on Sapphire, but wearing some G Fazos, wearing some all white ups, wearing some all white Air Force Ones, whatever you call them, where you're from, wearing those with that little stocking outfit is crazy. I'm sorry, like that's she could have wore some little flats or some little crocs or something like Wearing some gym shoes with one of them stocking outfits is just really insane to me. I ain't even going to hold you. Like, that's crazy. You don't know if you want to go to the club or do PE. Like, what's happening? Are you finna twerk or are you finna run on a treadmill? Like, what's goody? Like, are you finna hoop or strip? Like, what's what's happening? Like, I, I, I didn't like that. Okay? So, anyways, Sapphire and Bianca square up. Y'all... This little squabble right here was so cringy because Bianca don't got the squabbles and Sapphire don't got the squabbles. And it's like Sapphire is so tall and long. She really has the potential to really get in there. Okay. To really get up in there. But it's like Sapphire was swinging so hard. Like she was swinging so hard. Like if they would have landed, she would have really did Bianca in, but they weren't landing. Like they was and then Bianca was doing everything but swinging. She was tugging and pulling it like Love and Hip Hop had us fooled because we all thought Bianca had them hands on Love and Hip Hop. Am I wrong? Because I thought I always thought she did. And everybody else I used to talk to about Love and Hip Hop, we all thought that Bianca had them hands. Where they missing in action right now? They the hands that Bianca had, they are not in the building on baddies. I'm trying to tell you, like. Neither one of them won that fade, if you ask me. I, I mean, I, 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 that was, <laughs> that was insane. Okay. So then Callie felt the type of way. She kind of like approached Meatball, like Meatball, like we walked in here together. You see everybody ganging up on me. Like, what's good? I hope you're not about to be a follower too. And well, well Meatball just kind of like, girl, what are you talking about? I'm over here looking for the food. Basically, like, I don't, I'm not picking no side. I don't know none of y'all. You know what I mean? And she like, I don't know. I kind of feel like Callie felt like because her and Meatball walked in together that I guess maybe she wanted Meatball to kind of have her back while everyone was coming for her. But it's just like, girl, I don't know you. I just met you five minutes ago. Like, you walked in. You was popping it online. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, you made this bed, so you got to lay in it, you know? So it was kind of like her and Meatball was fake, acting like they was going to run a phase. Security didn't let it happen. Like, it really was no reason to run a fade. Honestly, like Callie started throwing water bottles. Scotty threw it back at her. Like it was just so dramatic for nothing. Like <laughs> it was the dramatics for me. So some of the girls the next day go meet Natalie in her room to discuss everything that happened at that dinner, that fake dinner, because there was no food. Meatball was in her confessional. She was upset. It was no food. And I'm not going to lie. I was upset for y'all and I wasn't even there. Because don't tell me it's the dinner and you don't have no sniggity snacks. No drinks, no nothing for me. Like, you, well, I didn't even see no apple juice, orange juice, pineapple juice, water. None of that. Well, I, I mean, I guess they did have water because Callie was throwing it. But where was the food for the dinner? Yeah. But anyways, they some of the girls meet with Natalie. It was Scotty, Jayla, Sapphire, and Aubrey or whatever. I was cracking up when they was trying to explain to Aubrey that Callie was blue face sister and she thought it was like one of the men from the blue man group I don't know if that if y'all know what that is but it's like this big show like a tour that travels like the men are covered in blue like the fact that she didn't know it was like blue face the rapper like was hilarious okay now what I did like is that Natalie made it clear that she's going to tell them that that we're not doing the spitting this season and like yes Please, because I will not be able to stomach watching it if y'all going to keep spitting on each other all season, baby. Like, I'm I'm cool on seeing that, okay? Now, the part that threw me off was Jayla was saying that she wants to just run it with Biggie every single day until she feels like she's over it. Like, I understand, like, yes, you don't want somebody threatening you online, but it's like, girl, y'all already ran the fades multiple rounds already, so it's like, what is going to make you feel better about it? Like, if you feel like you just overly won or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just overly 
rocks her or something like because it's just like man y'all already ran the fades like get over it G. it's not that serious to be continuing but she's saying that she just wants to do it every day okay so then we see Tiseki and biggie meet up and you know Tiseki was giving her her props like yeah you know jayla already know to keep her head up but you kept your head up too so you know what i'm saying when you was running phase you know she gave her, her life but she was like i don't like that you took her chain and I was just like, oh my gosh, are we really about to have another chain storyline? Like, just get this girl this chain. Cause I'm not, oh, yeah, I'm here for my chain. I'm not, I'm not finna do that again this whole season over a little chain, baby. Okay, like g give her the chain. You know, Tasiki was just like, man, just just give her the chain. Okay. So she ends up giving Tasiki the chain. Like, okay, it's not that serious. Then we get Bianca and Mariah joining. And um, Bianca is saying that like she really doesn't care if Mariah and Sapphire previously squashed their issues she's still on demon time with her like girl now I understand like I said having your friends back that's all great but if I'm telling you me and this girl have already had a conversation outside of this we've already decided to move past and squash it it's too late for you to try to come and be jumping all on this girl we've already said it was over with like leave it alone like why do you want to keep running back she's like now it's up every time whoa, whoa. like it's up every time because you spit on this girl it really does not have to be up every time because of the situation with mariah like you just made your own new little issue for no reason honestly okay so then we get the claremont twins join as they are headed to barbados and I saw a lot of stuff on Twitter. Some people were saying that they looked cute. A lot of people were saying like, oh my gosh, they look crazy, the surgery, whatever. I felt like they looked cute. I don't feel like they look too... I mean, of course, they are overly did up. You know what I mean? The bod is overly like, you know, crazy did up. But I feel like they looked cute as far as like in the face, everything. I thought that looks pretty. Um, I do know like people catch uh, a lot of bad pictures of them and try to post it and show like, oh... Does it look like, but they looks cute to me. Okay, no shade. Whether me and them are cool or not, y'all know I'm not a hater. I can give props. They looks cute to me. Okay, so they start arriving at the house in Barbados, and it was a fat house. Okay, and so some of the girls were kind of geeking up, like, oh my gosh, Florida! and Aubrey was like, yeah, they're acting like they're not used to like stuff like this, and well, like basically acting like it was cringe at how excited they were, but. When you film these reality shows and stuff, when you're first walking in the house, the producers literally tell you when you're walking in the house, like, act excited about the house, talk about how pretty the house is. Well, like, they tell you to do that. So it's like, girl, you know, we're overly acting excited because they told us to. So stop it. Okay. Um, so there's a main house and then there's a guest house. So I guess the main house, which is going to be the house that Natalie is going to be staying in, I guess it could hold like 12 people. And then they have a guest house, which is like a mini version of the main house. And I think she said it could hold like six or seven people. So they came to decide on like who's going to be staying in the main house and the other house. And Jayla basically told Biggie, like, you're absolutely not staying in the main house. And Biggie's like, I bet you I am. Now, I just feel like. Jayla was like, oh, because we got into it and I don't want to sleep in the same house with you. I just feel like no one should have any say so over who can stay in what house except for Natalie. You know, like, I don't feel like anyone should have the authority to be like, oh, yeah, you can't stay here. It's like, girl, who are you? You're a cast member just like me. I can stay wherever I want to stay. Stop playing with me. Like, and who's going to make me not stay here? Like, what about it? Like, you know what I'm saying? So they were arguing back and forth for a while and... Jayla, she just started taking off on Biggie. The 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 and Biggie was just trying to run and run. like I'm like Biggie swing back, Biggie swing back. Then she started crying. I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is about to make it look like Jayla is such a bully because the girl just started crying and running from the. I'm like, oh here we go with this. Like I felt really bad when Biggie was crying though. It was just like I couldn't believe she was just letting Jayla take off on her and she was just uh, uh, like running, turning her head, trying to run. Like, girl, swing back. Swing back. Bop her back. Like, I don't feel like Jayla was being a bully. I just feel like she was holding on to this one little issue for too long. Like, it's like, girl, it's over with. Like 
you know, the girl said she was going you and you made her stand on it. Y'all ran a face. It's like, just drop it, sister. Like, for real. Like, and I really do like Jayla. Like, y'all know, even though me and Jayla had gotten into it online some years ago when we actually met in person and we talked, like, we realized we actually had a lot more in common than we knew. And, like, she was actually really nice and cool. Like, I had a good time with her. Um, so Jayla says that Biggie put a scratch on her face and that's why she's really mad and that's why she want to run it back so many times because she's a skincare girly and her face is what people notice about her the most because she's so pretty and all this and that and you know the claremont twins they were in that confession it was kind of like i mean we feel like jayla's over exaggerating a little bit and i was really glad that they said that because it was like yes girl like you're you're ODing right now like leave biggie alone sister like you're really ODing right now for real so um meatball and bianca arrived Sapphire and Bianca immediately getting into it. And Bianca was like fake trying to walk away. And Meatball was like, hold on, I walked in with you. Like, dog, and you scary? Oh, nah. And Bianca like, who's scary? Who's scary? Biggie does all this hooping and hollering about how she can't trust Natalie. She don't want to talk to anyone. All this and that now. She was saying that she feels like Natalie made Jayla not like her. I, I just... I don't know. I know they love to blame everything on Natalie. And, like, honestly, Natalie does orchestrate some drama some of the time but i don't feel like she's telling jay jayla to get on that with biggie i just don't feel like that it really seems like jayla is just nitpicking and holding on to this issue on her own um so bianca and sapphire finally run this fade as the episode is ending and i ain't gonna lie it looked like sapphire was catching bianca this time she had the little you know on the first fade that they was running at the dinner sapphire's shoulder had came out of place or something so she had like a little brace on she took the brace off the square with bianca the episode ended right there now the next episode we're gonna see bianca putting sapphire's wig in the toilet then we get the girl gretchen that says the n-word coming and it looked like everybody was on her like now next week's episode really gives bgc vibes like the preview to the next week's episode it really gave like bgc vibes like it, it, mm. i'm excited to see what's up with this girl gretch because it looked like you know I kind of, my opinion, like with the saying the N word, I feel like I do understand. Like I said, some people grew up like that with the getting the passes, like, oh, you cool, blah, blah. Okay, but if I tell you in my face, like, hey, it's offensive to me, I don't like when you do it, and you telling me, like, hey, I don't give a F what you're talking about, okay, now you're making it a problem. Cause, like, don't try to brush my feelings off, cause you don't know what it feels like. You know what I mean? To have to deal with that word being used in a negative way towards you. So, don't tell me you don't care what I'm talking about, sister. That's that's what we're not going to do. Okay, so I am excited to see uh, the whole Bianca putting the wig in the toilet. Like, girl, you already been spitting. Don't do nothing else nasty, Bianca, please. The wig in the toilet and the spitting, that's enough for to last the whole season. Don't do nothing else nasty, please, sister. Okay? Um, So far, my favorites, Um, honestly, surprisingly, I'm really enjoying the Claremont twins, like, in their confessionals. I like their little commentary that they've been saying. Um, who else? Who, who else am I feeling? Of course, I always like Tzatziki. You know, I like that she keeps it real. And that's all so far that I'm really... I, I mean, I, I think I'm going to like Meatball, but now that a lot of the cast members have been going live and saying little stuff, they said Meatball was acting really stuck up and treating everybody a disrespectful way. So I don't know. I don't want to speak too early on that. But you guys comment down below. Let me know who's your favorites so far. Who are you looking forward to seeing? Like, y'all tell me who y'all think is going to be the star of this season. Who are y'all thinking? Okay, comment down below. Let me know. And thank you for watching.